The state of Kuwait celebrates today the second anniversary of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Sabah proclamation as the country's leader, guiding towards further development and modernization. The occasion coincides with elections for membership in the National Assembly's 17th legislative term. In line with His Highness the Emir's visionary guidance urging for revising the political situation for attaining a higher national interest. More on the following report. His Highness the Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah assumed the reins of a government at a stage full of challenges most notably the spread of the corona pandemic. However, after taking office, he pledged to do his utmost and everything in his capacity to preserve Kuwait's dignity and pride, protect its security and stability, and guarantee the dignity and well-being of his people. So I'd like to begin by congratulating His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, um, I was fortunate enough to present my credentials to His Highness um, almost a year and a half ago, and that, that experience is something that will stay in my memory forever. Um, I think it's been extremely difficult for His Highness the Emir, and of course everybody in Kuwait, because of the recent COVID pandemic, um, it's held back the, the global economy and it's restricted what businesses can do, what people can do in terms of moving around. But I really do feel that Kuwait took some very sensible measured steps and then lifted those restrictions at the right time to enable the, the economy to get going and to enable people to get back to living normal lives again and traveling and catching up with family and friends. So I feel as though Kuwait Kuwait is in a really good place. Of course, the weather's improving, and I, like everybody, is looking forward to the next few months of, um, of great success for the country, getting out and about, and enjoying all the brilliant things that Kuwait has to offer. A giving march, as he is one of the founders of modern Kuwait who contributed the foundations of the state and participated in the renaissance, construction and development process that the country witnessed after independence on June 19, 1961. Kuwait um, became a, a democracy when it achieved its independence from the UK in 1961. It's held regular elections since then. Um, parliaments have lasted different amounts of time, but there's a very clear constitution in Kuwait which, which guides the activity here. Of course, we have the elections coming up on the 29th of September. Um, as an embassy, we will be observing those and waiting to find out the results. Um, it's, it's something that we always watch from a distance in a very respectful fashion. But I think it's an interesting distinction which sets Kuwait apart from its neighbours in the region, in the Gulf region. The fact that it is a democracy and that it does have an elected parliament, that it does hold regular elections. So I think this is one of the particular strengths and a unique point about Kuwait amongst its neighbours. The political and the practical history of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, which extends for more than half a century is replete with the great achievements to make Kuwait's position among the development countries, so that His Highness giving and his experience in the areas in which he assumed leadership became respected and appreciated by all. Reporting to Kuwait English News, this is Hadil Fahd.